Hi there, I'm Jen and I'm back to share something with you. But I actually have no idea what I'm sharing with you. Jim over at the BB5 asked if he could send me something, but wanted to keep it a surprise and asked if I would video the opening. So before we get into this, um, I have some Jack Daniels Winter Jack because it is the afternoon and at 15% this is basically like drinking apple juice. I feel like it should be going in a sippy cup. Cheers. Okay, let's get into it. I'm really excited because I have no idea what it is. says, aren't you curious? Hell yes, I am. It says, Merry Christmas. Enclosed, please find your 2018 Christmas present. To limit the chance of breakage, there will be some End user assembly required. <laughs> uh oh, there is one item required by the end user that could not be shipped by this manufacturer. See instructions below. <laughs> this is kind of exciting. As you're Canadian, I'll include step by step <laughs> explicit instructions. <laughs> ah, okay, there are four bags with four numbers. Carefully open bag number one. Okay, Jim, I'm not really good with instructions. This is kind of exciting. Survive transit, this will be the centerpiece of your new acquisition. Set it on a firm, flat surface where it will not fall. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I might be getting instructions to make a bomb. I hope not. Well, maybe I hope I do. There's a few people I could teach bomb making skills. Yeah.
it is an empty double oaked Woodford bottle. All right. Now, open bag number two. I'll leave it up to you as it is now your gift, but I recommend that this be the whiskey you add to the new Woodford candle bottle. Pour this whiskey into the bottle. Please note, at this point, the bottle will be one-third full, not two-thirds empty. Let's be positive, shall we? Okay. This is really exciting, Jim. I fucking love this. Okay. look like whiskey. This may not be fun for you guys watching, but I'm actually super enjoying this. <sighs> because I can't wait to see what comes next. I think it's taken me a full two minutes to get these in there. Okay. Okay, step three will be interchangeable with step four, based on your available supplies. Mm -hmm. If you have a nice, clean, burning lamp oil now, would be a good time to decant some into the bottle. <laughs> it would be a good time, but I don't have that. If you have no lamp oil or rendered seal bubbler as you're in the Great White North, <laughs> Oh, or rendered seal blubber. <laughs> uh, you can bypass step three and open bag number three. Untie the loose 
square knot. Oh, hold on a sec here. This is really exciting, Jim. Okay. until it is about a half a centimeter or less above the top of the insert, above the top and insert the wick into the bottle. Half an inch, I think so. I like to take a long, thin item such as a knitting needle or a kebab skewer and push the wick down into the oil-filled whiskey in the candle bottom. If I have to explain which end is up, maybe it's best you locate help. <laughs> or another worthy recipient and re-gift the candle to someone else. Ah, no, I figured it out, Jim. Assuming you have added oil to your candle holder, allow a few hours time for the oil to wick up to the top of the wick holder where it can be lit. Depending on how much oil you have in your bottle, this could take a while. Or dip the wick in the oil up to the bottom of the holder and then insert into the bottle if you're the impatient type. I am 100% the impatient type. Keep oil on the wick only and off the wick holder if you're into dipping. Now here's the final and best step. Open bag number four and choose a dram of your liking. Light your candle, pour your drinkable whiskey in a Curious Gen whiskey nose and glass, and light your candle. Copper City Bourbon. A Midwinter Night's Dram, Act 5, Scene 5. Little Book Freddy No, Batch Number 1. 1792 full proof bourbon. And something with a question mark, of course. Jim, thank you so much. I cannot wait to use this. I want to go run out to the store and go get some fluid. This is super awesome. Thank you so much. And I just want to say cheers, everybody.